Uh, so here we have uh, the real ACC D1106 6000 kV motor. This was also sent in by Adam TFC from RC Groups. So I can test it uh, and get some data uh, so we can compare to the other 11 size motors. Uh, so thanks Adam for making that possible and uh, sending this, these motors so we can have uh, more motors to compare. So uh, pretty pretty similar in construction to all the other motors, uh, uh, the standard motors. Uh, the wire looks like it's uh, looks like it's 24 gauge. Uh, so as with all other motors, uh, it uses a standard uh, E-clip to secure the shaft. So it's pretty easy to remove and uh, it pulls apart pretty easily and as you can see the stator actually the, the windings are pretty good they look uh, pretty well done the stator face uh, as you can see looks a little bit narrow compared to uh, compared to other motors that I've uh, seen so far I haven't seen that many motors yet but uh, so far this uh, this Pintech uh, is looking to be one of the better ones. Uh, as you can see here, uh, Spintech on the on the right. Uh, the Spintech certainly has a little bit more uh, beefy uh, stator. So, and of course, uh, with uh, motors, the more copper and steel iron they call it that, that you have on the stator, the the more force that you can produce. But uh, other than that, uh, it looks it looks pretty good, pretty pretty well made. Uh, the uh, the shaft on this motor is uh, it's uh, 1.5 uh, millimeters on the shaft, so pretty much standard as with uh, most of the motors. And uh, as you can see, the uh, the magnets there look uh, pretty pretty standard. Now let's see let's see what it weighs. Uh, so that weighs six point four six point four four grams. Pretty pretty okay weight for this size motor. Six point four grams. Okay, so let's uh, let's put it on the thrust stand and let's see what this uh, what this motor can do. Uh, with this KV, I'm not sure if I, if it's going to be able to take 3S. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, 2S. And depending on the amps that I see and how hot the motor gets uh, on the run, then I may go to 3S. If not, I'll just leave it at 2S. Um, on the thrust stand, uh, the, the motors get really overstressed because, you know, it's a static. So the props load more than when you're flying. So... So the fact that I'm not using 3S doesn't mean that the motor can't take uh, 3S. It just means it, it, I can't do it on the thrust stand. Just, uh, it, it may work, but I, I just don't want to run the risk of damaging the, uh, the windings. Because uh, it, they, you know, they may, it may cook the enamel. Uh, even on a, on a short run, if, it's, uh, if the amps get too high, it, it may cook them. So, so I, I don't want to do that. So okay, let's put it on the thrust and see what it does. Alright, so let's look at the numbers for the thrust test of the 1106 6000 kV motor from Real ACC. This motor actually measure at a slightly higher kV of 6130 as measured by the thrust stand. 
so I went ahead and tested uh, 2S and 3S for this motor um, uh, thanks to Adam TFC from uh, RC Groups for advising me on what to use on this model, what voltage and what props and also for donating the motor so yeah he's the one that uh, told me about this motor being a kind of a hidden gem uh, because it's pretty affordable uh, from Banggood and it performs quite well so yeah as we can see uh, the motor is performing quite well uh, on 2S uh, there's not uh, anything out of the ordinary so but I just wanted to test it uh, in case somebody wanted to, to know but where it, it really shines is on 3S, so we'll con concentrate on 3S. Uh, so with the usual props that I've been using for the 1106, 1105 motors, this is the uh, this is the RX uh, Rotor X 2035B, uh, and this was cut to two inches from the original 2.5 uh, inches. So I cut it to two inches uh, because you know some people do that and they run it uh, like that. Uh, these props were donated by uh, a YouTube viewer from Australia. He had them drop shipped to me, so thanks uh, for for donating the props. From RC Groups too, uh, Sugar Cane. Sugar Cane is his uh, nickname, so thanks for donating the props. So I've also been told that uh, this prop, uh, people use it in a two blade configuration. I didn't, I had no idea, so I, I did not include it on this test, but I'll, I'll try and include it on future tests. Sorry about that, I, I didn't know people use that in two blade configuration. So on 3S and two inch prop, uh, not too bad, uh, you know, to breaking the 200 uh, gram mark, uh, that's that's pretty decent. Then onto the blade, uh, this goes on the blade torrent. I don't exactly know if the pitch is uh, uh, three inch, but uh, I just put it there just to put something. I, I'm not sure if it's actually 20, 30, but it is two inch, but I don't know if the pitch is correct. So, but it's a three blade prop. Uh, so also does pretty well, uh, 217 and and nine and a half uh, uh, amps. So that that's pretty pretty efficient prop actually. It works works pretty well. But the next one is this one. The uh, in its uh, original size, the 2.5 uh, inch uh, with the four blade configuration. I kind of noticed the motor was running a little bit hot, so I kind of wor got worried. And and so this one, uh, this one I ran it. I just grabbed the 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 uh, a three S battery that I have, and uh, just used eleven point two volts to test it because I, I wasn't sure. Could this being the first time, I wasn't sure if it's was if it was gonna take the the load uh, uh, well. You know, I didn't want to melt the the windings. Uh, so it was running a little bit hot on this prop. Uh, the four blade prop on static is gonna abuse the motor more so so I ran it on, on the on 11.2 volts and yeah it works works pretty decent a uh, little bit more thrust even at the lower bolts as you can see to nearly 240 volts the amps do increase a lot uh, because of the larger size of the prop and the four blades uh, then we move on to the Rotor X 2.5, uh, 25, 25. This is cut from the original 3-inch prop. This is the same. It's the same as the Genfan 3025 prop. So I cut it to two and a half inches. And uh, here we see the prop being actually more efficient uh, than the four-blade prop. So for these motors, uh, th these two-blade props should work uh, really well. Yeah, the two and three-blade props work really well. The four blade props uh, do put a lot of load on the motor and as you can see the amps are high but uh, I guess people like them because they they, they do build thrust uh, quicker uh, since they have four blades at the lower at the lower RPMs uh, you're probably getting uh, you should be getting more thrust than the other uh, two or three blade props. So this one 250 grams uh, at 9.4 amps pretty pretty good uh, pretty good amps not not that high. Then we move on to the 3020. This is the the original prop uh, for this type of motors. Uh, nearly 300 grams. Not not too bad actually. The amps are quite uh, yeah getting a little bit high though. Uh, and then the Gen Fan or Rotor X 3025 uh, clearing 300 and uh, at about the same amps as this one. So uh, this one is the better prop. 
So as we can, see, as you can see, this motor is pretty capable, a uh, pretty good bargain for the price uh, on 3S is where it really shines. Uh, I've been told uh, a lot of people uh, are using this motor in their three, three inch or two and a half inch builds and they they're saying the motor uh, is quite durable and they quite like it uh, it works it works pretty well pretty well on those uh, micro builds uh, so there you go there's the results of the thrust test uh, showing that this motor is quite uh, quite capable uh, on 3s and uh, pretty good uh, price to performance ratio so this is sold on banggood uh, but I believe is uh, it's out of stock. Last time I, I went to check, there was only one or two left, so they're probably out of stock. Uh, hopefully they'll they'll be uh, restocking them soon because uh, it seems that this motor is getting quite popular. All right, uh, thanks for watching, and until the next video.